MDF is a common and cheap material that's likely to be something you will eventually or frequently find yourself cutting in the shop. And despite being a really messy material to work with, it's otherwise very forgiving to mill. So if you're new to machining or want to test some new toolpaths without ruining a slab of something more expensive, MDF can be a great way to knock out a prototype or validate your toolpaths. Here are some speeds and feeds you can use to get started. I'll begin with the standard 102 8th inch end mill. We'll do 18,000 RPM, 60 inches per minute, a step down of 60 thou, and a 50% step over if you're pocketing. Nothing too fancy here, but you have a good amount of room to play around. You could cut deeper, you could feed faster, you could do both. At a point though, you will see an effect on surface finish, so I'll let you decide how you want to balance efficiency and quality. Switching gears to a quarter inch end mill like the 201, I'll go with 18,000 RPM, 90 inches per minute, a depth of cut of 60 thou, and a 50% step over if you're pocketing. Note that I'm not bothering with adaptive tool pads because in wood, it really doesn't matter if you have localized points where your cutting forces fluctuate. Any surface irregularities and cosmetic imperfections will sand out pretty easily. You might notice that the cut edges of the MDF here are a little fuzzy, and this is because I'm using an upcutting end mill. If I were to use a downcutting end mill, this is what it would look like. However, downcutting end mills don't do quite as good a job of clearing material from the cuts. They basically spend the entire time trying to jam sawdust into the floor of your cuts, so you can't be quite as aggressive with them. Here I backed off on the depth of cut by 25%. Hopefully this video gives you a good starting point for milling MDF. It's really not that difficult to machine and it's a great way to get some practice in. Just remember to mine the dust. Not only is it not healthy for people in the long run, but it's also not great for your router. Sawdust will accelerate wear and tear on your motor's brushes. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.